everybody back with the video. Mixer was throwing his freaking hammer and making black oxide, a white oxide, a cold oxide, orange oxide, carbon dioxide. It's whatever. Anyway, here we go. This is how far I got. I collected the rust on his towel, and I had to get it off these, but it's gonna be freaking hard. But you know, not hard for me. Usually the freaking South American style to do this is just dip this mug in freaking cold acid and it will melt the rust and you just re forward the hammer. Or uh, Africa style, usually this is buried in dirt and freaking use other ashes to burn it. But you know, that's that style and well, every other country had their own styles, but I'm almost done with it. I'm going to take the process now before I get everything out to it. I'm going to get a freaking circular saw, skill saw, or I like to call it a circle saw. Stop doing it, stupid tiger. Anyway, I'm going to cut this whole handle off because I need this whole handle to be off with it. And then I'm going to soak the whole thing in out of vinegar or rust removal. I spray it with freaking soap and freaking. Oh, I think it's something else with that. To finish removing the rust off of the rest of it, I'm gonna use a sander and I'm gonna little grit 60, 70, 65 on it to get, remove the rest of the rust off. After I do that, I'm gonna go up from grit 65, I'm gonna polish it and then go up to grit 70, then polish it, then go up to grit 80 and polish, then grit 90 and polish, then grit 100 and polish, and then before after I do that, I start deciding why I'm gonna harden it or turn into other form of metal or turn into the color or whatever I'm gonna do it and once I do with that I'm gonna polish that again and go to grit 1000 and then after that I'm gonna polish again at grit 1200 so and then I'll have to bake it to make the metal hard again hardening let's start the test it well that's just this this rust here I'm about to suck some iron in it 